Someone said if we have three or four people like very dark man in this country, Nigeria will be better. This is very dark man arriving court today, not court, the house of rep, um, uh, a place where he was invited for open investigation. He himself was invited, Bob Risky was invited, but Bob Risky did not turn up. I will not, I don't want, maybe you have gotten the gist halfway, but I will allow you to listen to everything this guy said here. Like, the gods this guy has is just too much. If you see the confrontation and the way he addressed the people in court today, it was just too beautiful and just so awesome. Now, if we have people who genuinely are not scared to stand in the right in the right places and address them and say what they want to say at any given time, I think it is the best thing. Having people like this young man, like four or five in this country, a lot of evil will be exposed and this country will start getting better one way or the other. Anyway, I will allow you to watch the video. This is his arrival, entrance into the uh, House of Rep, uh, where they, they had an open meeting and a, a proper discussion all through the, the day there. Listen carefully. Please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So, now, um, in the video I posted online, I explained everything for the people that saw the video. It was well detailed and well explained. Um, our got hold of that um, recording it's as a result of a risky blackmailing somebody he owes money. So according to the story and according to the evidence that a proof of chat that was sent to me, um, the person borrowed from risky four million naira when risky was in the EFCC detention, or rather in the private apartment lodge. Um, the person gave him the money on the. On the 19, 6, 2024, the person gave him the money, 4 million naira. It was transferred to this account number 0496411279. Abiola Opnaya, and as you know, what his name is Opnaya. So, probably, Kuda. 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 So, um, apparently, it's his brother's account. So, when it was time to get the money back, According to the story the guy told me and the evidence I saw, he told me he needed to, he wanted that money to complete his build in Lagos. So that was why I brought him the money. So it's now time to pay from the receipt I have here. He sent him a message, but Risky refused to respond. He sent him another one after like a few days, but Risky also refused to respond. When Risky eventually responded, Risky said, um, I'm going to give you the money in, I think, September. So September 1st, the guy reached out to Bobrisky again, Bobrisky refused. And the next thing that followed it was blackmail. He said, um, I will tell them that you are smooshing me and you are kissing me. So the guy felt very, very somehow, because he felt like he was not going to get his money. God's so kind, there's very dark man that has the platform to call out the people that owe money and will pay. So, a friend of mine who is very popular contacted me and he said, Vidya, see what's going on. And I said, okay, no problem. If you have received, send it. Then, um, when he sent it, now I'll say something here. When he sent it, immediately I made a video, I first video and I said, well, risky, I'm giving you four hours to pay back. Then he started begging the guy. Now, what I'm going to say that my lawyer does not even know. Now, he started begging the guy, then he paid. Immediately, he paid. But when I listened to the audio, I said, nah, even though you pay, this has to go there out there, man. Because here, CC cannot go around harassing some boys, young boys, and somebody with a godfather will be pulling stunts. I was detained in the prison. My very good friend, Sean Kuti, was detained as well. A lot of boys are inside the prison. Bobrisky is not any way better than them. So I didn't see any reason why I should keep the audio. I kept the receipt of his payment, which he paid that day. He paid that day. So immediately I got it, which was on the on Tuesday, September 24th. On Tuesday, just few six days ago, I think. Then um, the charts acknowledging when he wants to, when he was disturbing the guy that he wants to refund immediately after he saw my video. And then, um, yes, the 
charts and the charts where he blackmailed the guy. There's a particular place where he blackmailed the guy. Um, the charts also asked him for the money. As a reminder, we would like to read one part for September 4th. He said, Dear Bobisky, this is a reminder for the return of the loan amount of 4 million naira as agreed. The due date for the return is September 1st. Mind you, this September 1st, it was Bobisky that gave him the dates. Then he said, Kindly use the attachment account details to send the reform. Then he sent his account number. So because he didn't get it, he came to me. So I will read the part of the blackmail that made him. Because Yes, I would like to verify that the guy said he's not gay. I don't know, I don't live with him, but I ask it. So he said he's not gay. Okay, so this part, um, after requesting. Sorry. So this part, the guy was not saying things like, I helped him when he needed help. When it's time to pay me, man, like I'm protesting me, this is not fair. I will pay me like this. Then, but we still went on to say, when you kiss me and smooch me, did you give me any money? Are you mad? Your visit to Nigeria that you kissed me in Lagos, did you give me anything? I didn't ask you for money. No, because I am fucking okay. If not EFCC, you think I'm going to ask you for money? Does that mean it's because of EFCC? Is that it? I know. Uh, so if not EFCC, um, do you think I'm going to ask you for money? You are typing all this message to someone help you post flyers without collecting collecting anything from you. Wow. Go ahead and call me out. I will respond to you on IG. You know I am shameless and I don't care. You will get your money, I have your account. I don't want to look like someone that is ungrateful. But threatening me that you give me 24 hours is the height of it. I am waiting for you to post or call me out. So apparently the guy told him was going to tell me. So these are the evidence I'm going to present. Ad Additionally, after this, there's a second one and there's a third one. Okay, um, and I'll give everything. Um, uh, then, I don't think uh, this is the function of this uh, parliament to have legal representations in uh, issues like this. So we are not going to accept legal representation. Like I said before, I know we get to every stage, we address it. This is the time now for us to address the issue of the absence of uh, Mr. Idris. Yeah. Did you say? Okay, uh, let me ask you, can you tell us why uh, he is not here? I want to apologize for the absence of my wife, but I also want to state uh, something on record. The institution of this panel. It's not really fine. 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 It's not Mr. Okunye is his unavailable absence because of his ill health. But I came in from Lagos this morning to you know to show respect to the committee. To the co uh, committee. Now the issue on ground. It's okay. It's okay. Let me make a No, he's not here. No, I think I'm here. Oh, no, 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 no.
colleagues, we have heard from uh, Mr. Idris' lawyer that uh, he is not feeling fine. I will now open the door for our members to react to me. Now, uh, my lawyer will be the one to talk, and I will not say a word because I will not want to walk out from the people that are holding on to my father. So I won't say anything until the police is here and the ESP chairman is here. Thank you very much. Number two, I'm going to talk to you. I'm just echoing what we are doing. Number two, number two, he is saying that he has not said he's not going to speak. At least. We came prepared, we came with almost everything that is needed by this committee here. We have even come with additional evidence that is not even available online. We have come with everything. So he's, he's not saying, I don't want to assist the committee, I don't want to talk. He's saying, because that person, who should be here, who is not here, who has sent a lawyer to represent uh, he, he or she, that, <laughs> that he is not going to talk directly, that he's going to talk to his counsel. That's just all he's saying, and nothing more. In addition, um, I would like to say, the man from my state, um, he said, uh, if I don't speak, they will not be able to take me. I will not mind being on the street. I will not mind, but that's a bit of a story. And also, in the voice notes, what Risky said something about the Godfather. So, it's obvious that the Godfather is somewhere that might be the Godfather. So, it's obvious that there is a Godfather somewhere that might be the Godfather. Maybe told him not to come, and then nothing will happen because he has disrespected everybody here by not coming. Now you are trying to force me to talk, and you are already throwing me the two threads that you detain me. I will stay in the cell, and this is not my first time, not my second time. So I'll go and stay here until he's ready. But for now, I will not say anything. If I say anything, let me die. Um, uh, the, the